Hyenas get chewed out a lot for being mangy, good-for-nothing scavengers. But that bad rap just ain't fair to them, and their image feels ripe for a rebrand. Yes, they do scavenge from time to time, and yes, they tend to target the young, the old, and the weak. But let's be real for a second. When it comes to feeding your family, under life or death circumstances, who among us wouldn't opt for an easy meal? Speaking of easy meals, hyenas look to the sky to gain an advantage. If they see vultures circling off in the distance, they know there are probably bones to pick clean down below. And if the bones have already been picked clean, well, they can still crush those bones with their incredible bite force to extract the nutritious marrow inside. Mmm, yummy. But the fact is, hyenas rarely just stumble upon food. 95% of the time, they have to fight to earn their dinner. They have to fight to survive. Lions are celebrated and revered as jungle royalty for their dominance over weaker animals. Well, guess what? Hyenas dine on the same menu, and they're roughly half their size. Not to mention, the animals they take down, like zebras and wildebeest, often have a notable size advantage. So to get by, they like to rely on a little help from their friends. By hunting in packs, it allows them to pull down bigger prey than they would be able to do if they were on their own. Yep, a hyena's true strength lies with its clan. When it's said the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, well, hyenas fit that description just right, which is one of the reasons their populations thrive out in the wild. Hyenas are much more numerous than lions are. We got maybe 2,000 lions in Serengeti. There's about 7,000 hyenas. These guys are smart and brave. They can hear distress calls from family members as far as six miles away. And when they do, they run to the rescue. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Now, as tight-knit as hyenas are, there are certain rules to live by and dine by. There's a hierarchy to this way of life and more specifically, a matriarchy. That's right, for hyenas, it's the females who run this town. They rank highest, so naturally, they get first dibs. Then come the pups. They've gotta grow up to be big and strong, after all. And served last, the dudes. And if anyone dare cut in line, they can expect a good old fashioned whooping. Now let's re-examine that famous hyena laughter. It's not exactly what you'd think it is. That shrill cackle is quite a useful means of expression, and even useful in conflict resolution. Studies have found the pitch of a hyena's laugh can reveal the animal's age, and the frequency can offer an indicator of its social rank. They're smarter than we give them credit. And since we're giving them their due, can we talk about their adaptability for a second? We only get these packs out on the open treeless plains of the Serengeti. Once you get into the woodlands of the Serengeti, which is two thirds of Serengeti, then the hyenas are solitary and they feed only on small prey. Because they can adapt to pretty much anything, hyenas will rarely go hungry. Traditionally, people think of hyenas as being scavengers. In fact, they're only scavengers under certain circumstances, often when they're on their own, when they're hunting singly and uh, they are obviously extremely successful because they're very numerous in our system. No matter what you think of hyenas, try to remember they too are just trying to get to tomorrow, take care of their own, and get in a good laugh every chance they get. I mean, heck, wouldn't you? Ooh.